uh, across all uh, areas of the game, and that's uh, senior men, senior ladies, uh, youth uh, from under sevens through to Colts, uh, girls rugby and touch rugby, uh, we are now approaching 600 members in total. Um, we also have a number of VPs that will probably take that number closer to about 800. Approximately, I would say between 35 and 40 percent uh, of our income is generated through that sort of area. We have multiple streams of income um, because obviously with trying to get a rugby club operating on a self and um, su um, sustainable basis, um, we need to constantly explore new ways of generating funds. Um, but around about a third to 40% of our monies come from community-style income. We hire out the clubhouse for a number of things. Um, so uh, we've actually just interrupted an art class. Um, so Tuesdays to Fridays, uh, the, the clubhouse is, is hired out to the, the local college for art classes. Um, and those can be all sorts of things. They can be still life, they can be um, they can be sewing classes, they can be um, well, just you, you name it, it's there. So, so we, 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 we hire that out on a four day basis. We also have close links with Truro Running Club. Truro, Truro Running Club use this as a base on a Monday evening and a Wednesday evening. Um, and then they go out on their run and then undo all their, their good work by having a couple of pints after, which is all very nice. Um, we have a link with Nuki. Um, Hockey Club, which is a strange one, bearing in mind we're based in Truro, uh, but Nuki Hockey Club use our club facilities on a regular basis just to have a base for somewhere to have their meals after their, their matches. Um, so we, we do have an, a number of areas that, that we, we reach out um, and we have the ambition to try and be able to make it even more um, open to that sort of thing uh, over the next few years as well. Uh, every member of our operating staff, be that um, coaches throughout the, uh, the rugby offering uh, or anything else that is outreaching, is a volunteer position. We only have two paid positions within the whole club. One is the clubhouse manager and one is the uh, first team coach. So everybody else is, is a volunteer. That brings its challenges because getting people to put their hands up is uh, is not easy um, and I know that having been volunteered myself 10 years ago when I first came involved in the committee um, but when you soon get involved and you realize what you get back out of offering that community thing those are the sort those are the sorts of experiences that you can now um, relay onto other people to then get them to do the same and put their hand up and they will also ex experience the same benefit as well. Um, so whilst they're volunteers and it's difficult to get volunteers, I believe it's the best way about going things because as soon as you make it into a pay position, then you lose that personality, you lose that link with the, the club, you lose the pride of the badge. I've already discussed the, the success of the girls and ladies rugby. So from a playing side, I think that is a massive achievement. Um, uh, and it, it, it's something, it was International Women's Day yesterday, and it's something we put across the website that this is what we've been able to achieve. And the number of positive comments that were coming back were, 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 were absolutely huge. And, and we have now got a real reputation as being the, the, the centre of development of girls rugby right the way through, through Cornwall. And that's something that, I, that I'm immensely proud of. Um, so that's one area where I would say that is uh, is an incredible success. I think the partnerships with the local sporting clubs, the, the running club in particular, um, uh, has been really improving um, greatly. Um, so essentially, they <laughs> their membership fees that they they charge their uh, individuals are passed straight on to us because we are their base, um, and therefore the the greater the success that we have with them then the greater success that we have as, as sustaining the clubhouse and the facilities that we have and 
um, they are starting to use the place more from a social perspective as well, which I think is a, is a great return from what we've been able to, to, to put into them. Um, and in fact, we hosted post pandemic, one of the first county runs that was done in Cornwall uh, was actually hosted here from Truro Rugby Club. And there were nearly 500 runners that participated in this particular event, which all started and ended here. And We have huge plans for the club at the moment. Um, we're about to undertake the most ambitious project that the club has ever seen. Um, now that project takes in a number of aspects. Uh, it brings in the, the development of a covered stand outside. It, it develops the changing rooms. Um, so we'll have two new changing rooms as well as a complete overhaul of our existing uh, changing facilities and, and showering facilities referees facilities, physio facilities. Beyond that, we then go into uh, developing our, our kitchen um, and social area, as well as then also wanting to expand our shared space, which is going to be available for, um, for partnership um, meetings, uh, social meetings, weddings, uh, funerals, bar mitzvahs, whatever you may, may wish to have. Um, now that project is, is going to be an eight to 10 year project probably, but we actually cut ground on the first two, two uh, phases of that this summer. It's going to be a very hectic summer to get those done. Um, so we have huge development areas within that. Specifically for the, for the community and the outreach, we are flagging ourselves up to be a club fit for the future. And that doesn't mean just for the rugby, but for everything that goes on in the local community. First thing is to have a clear communication plan within, um, within your group of, of people that are responsible. Um, there can be a number of areas where there might be earning potential, there might be community potential. Um, and I think one of the things I would say is, is no idea is a bad idea. So bring it to the table. Um, it can then be properly discussed uh, by the relevant people and can either be then undertaken or can be part for the future. But there's no, no thing, such thing as a bad idea. So that's probably two, two ideas in one. Uh, the third one, I would say engagement. Engagement with those people. Once you've got them on board, don't assume it stays. Constant engagement means that they feel valued within your organisation. Um, and then by being valued, they will continue to be part of that organisation going forward.